Hi, Jeff Celine with Interspire.com blog. Today I want to talk about email marketer and how easy it is to test your emails in different email clients with a simple click of a button. So let's take a look. Uh, if you go to email campaigns to create an email campaign, and here we get started. Uh, we give our email campaign a name. This is just for our back end system. Uh, so we'll call this test email for fun. And here we have 70 or so templates to choose from. These have all been tested in different email clients already. So we'll just pick generic for newsletter. And here you see it in the WYSIWYG editor. Uh, what it's going to look like, you can go in and make edits as needed. Here we have the text version for folks that only want to receive text versions of emails. But this is what I want to show you today, email client compatibility. You click here, and this is what your email is going to look like in various different uh, email clients. So here we have the original HTML version. This is what it looks like in AOL. This is what it looks like in Gmail. You'll see some small tweaky differences. Here down the side you'll uh, see some explanations of why these differences occur. In this case the font family tags are different in Gmail. They don't see the same font family. And Yahoo, Outlook, and so forth. It's just that simple to take a quick look and test your emails uh, and see where you need to make tweaks in the design. For fun here, let's choose uh, to import a web page. We'll use the innerspire.com homepage. And here we have our WYSIWYG editor. Here's what it looks like. And now let's check this for compatibility. Uh, we'll notice right away that we're missing some large graphics. And in Outlook, it actually looks pretty good. But in Yahoo and in Gmail, you'll find that they uh, don't show the CSS style. So we have a lot of work to do. And it's just that easy to test your emails before they go out. I'm always surprised at how many people understand the value of testing web pages for browser compatibility, but forget that we need to do the same with email clients. In the text version of this blog post, I'll share some other concepts with you, um, some quick and simple tricks that you can perform. I hope you take a look at it. Thanks so much.